hello, I am here today with Jean Emmanuel Dupra doing a deck tech on their historic deck. Is it creativity? Jean Emmanuel, tell me about this indomitable creativity deck. So this is a, this is a deck that got handed to me by uh, a friend, uh, Mathieu Avignon, which is also a Rivals League player. Uh, he's been playing it for some time, and uh, this is the new iteration of the deck, uh, as it were. It has existed for some time, but uh, but it's a new version that um, that he brought for this tournament. Okay, awesome, perfect. Let's go right into it. So this is a combo deck, and the first thing we really need to look at are the win conditions for this combo. So Indomitable Creativity, the Locust Gods, Sage of the Falls. Tell me about these. So the goal of the deck is to put Sage of the Falls and the Locust God into play at the same time. Um, when you have both, Sage of the Falls makes you loot every time a non-human creature enters the battlefield. And uh, whenever you draw a card, you make a cricket token, an insect creature token with the Locust God. So when you have both, you can draw your whole deck and make as many insects as you have cards. And they will have haste and they attack. Uh, and so to make that happen, uh, what you're doing is you're playing Indomitable Creativity on two of your own permanents. Um, and since uh, these creatures are the only creatures in your deck, uh, it always uh, fetches these two. So um, the permanents you target are things like uh, treasure tokens from uh, Prismary Command or uh, the crab from Hard Evidence. So all these little uh, uh, extra permanents you make uh, with your early game spells. All right, that makes a lot of sense. So you kind of let us in there. Let's talk about them. The token makers in the deck, the facilitators of the combos that were hard evidence, strike it rich, prismari command, unexpected windfall. Tell me about these choices and why specifically these cards as the permanent makers of the deck. So um, you want cards that enable the combo, but that also helps you um, gain time against creature decks. So that's why we play uh, four copies of Hard Evidence and four copies of Prismary Command, uh, because these cards not only uh, make uh, tokens, but they also uh, block or kill opposite creatures. And then you have cards that make treasures, uh, and treasures are good specifically in this deck, because you want also to, um, to ramp up your mana, uh, to be able to go off and then have some backup uh, uh, if your opponent has interaction for the combo. That makes a lot of sense. And like any combo deck, you do need some card draw. So let's take a look at those expressive iterations still on Division we've seen before, but four copies of Valakut Awakening. Tell me about this one. So a big challenge with this deck is uh, getting rid of the combo creatures when you draw them, because you don't actually want to, to play them uh, if you don't have the other part uh, on the battlefield. Uh, so that's where uh, Valakut Awakening comes in, as well as uh, Fire Prophecy. These two cards uh, help you put the, the creatures you draw on the bottom of your deck. Uh, so that's why you, we play so many copies of these effects. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, just helping set up that combo. And finally, we look at some of the disruption package you have here. You already told us about the importance of Fire Prophecy. Some of these we've seen before. Pact of Negation is sort of a combo staple. What is it doing in this deck? So Pact of Negation is your best counterspell, the best counterspell available for this kind of deck, uh, because it's free, uh, so on the turn where you go off you can just uh, always play a Pact of Negation to, to protect yourself. And uh, it has an extra dimension in this deck, um, because when you go off um, and your opponent doesn't have a counterspell, but they have something like a Lightning Axe or Unholy Heat to disrupt the combo, um, what you can do is uh, play a Fire Prophecy or crack a clue, in response to their removal spell, to go off again. Uh, so to draw your whole deck in response to their <laughs> removal spell, and then find a Pact of Negation, for example, uh, for any any for any answer they might they might have. Um, so yeah, it's a deck that can go off at instant speed uh, when it's already set up uh, to go off, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, that was Is It Indomitable Creativity. This deck looks awesome. I'm excited to see it in action. Jean-Emmanuel, thank you so much for your time, and good luck this weekend. Thank you, Manny.